My name is Prad Shaker. I'm the CEO of CV2 Insights, uh, trading on the CSC under ticker symbol CBII. CB2 Insights is a research and technology platform uh, specializing in the medical cannabis sector. Our goal is really mainstreaming cannabis into traditional healthcare. Uh, we operate under three primary divisions, uh, clinical operations where we own and operate one of the largest networks of medical centers in the U.S. specializing in medical cannabis evaluations, um, representing uh, 35 clinics in over 14 states and 100,000 active patients a year. Uh, our second platform is technology and uh, analytics, uh, where we operate one of the industry's only proprietary uh, clinical trial management software, allowing for researchers and organizations to capture proper data through clinical trial methodologies, uh, but also amassing uh, a well over 500,000 patient interactions in the medical cannabis sector through clinically validated outcomes, so that we can use this data to help inform new drug development, research and development, as well as uh, post-marketing efficacy of products. Um, and the third aspect of our business is uh, clinical, uh, clinical research, uh, where we are a full-service CRO, uh, operating from uh, preclinical trials all the way to trial research and post-closeouts, assisting drug manufacturers as well as research organizations, specifically in the area of uh, clinical trials in medical cannabis. So the European markets is obviously a great opportunity for us, especially the South American markets, as we expand into more of a medically cannabis-focused uh, infrastructure. We're talking prescriptive markets where patients are prescribed specific doses of a specific product. So from a medical perspective, we're seeing single uh, indication formulated medication that's being uh, implemented through traditional pharmacy and protocols. From a research perspective, it makes it much better to understand evidence-based outcomes. Uh, the Colombian market is very exciting for us because obviously it is a center where we think will be the future of research and development um, and establishing a hub and development of patient databases as well as technology and CRO services will enable CV2 Insights to be a leader in bringing new drugs to market. So CRO, otherwise known as a contract research organization, was really in the past decade um, uh, a diversification of services from big pharma into third party organizations that would specialize in helping uh, a drug manufacturer take a product from formulation all the way through to commercialization. So this is your typical FDA approval cycle, Health Canada approval cycles of preclinical trials, phase one to phase four studies, and post-efficacy surveillance data reporting. Um, these services succeed well because they can do clinical trials faster, scalable, and more effectively than pharma companies could do as their own in-house services. And outside of typical academic organizations, private organizations like IQVIA and MedPace and PRA have really built uh, multi-billion dollar market caps on the back of this opportunity in big pharma. We see that as a direct parallel into medical cannabis where we think licensed producers will require very similar services. So we take this as an evolution of the industry where prior uh, development of medication in the cannabis sector was really just developing medical cannabis products and selling them through dispensaries in the U.S. market. We're starting to now see where governments are seeing safety coming up as an issue is where they really start to step in. And when they start to step in and ask for substantial data to support these claims made by producers, we start to realize that there's a gap where researchers or drug manufacturers haven't really invested the time in capacity in developing proper research around their product, whether it be publications or post-marketing data on the efficacy of their medications. So CB2 Insights is now looking at this and saying, here's an opportunity for drug manufacturers to keep their products on the shelves, but really what's lacking is the efficacy around their actual products that they're selling. And I think it's, it's a very simple prescriptive method to solve that problem. We can definitely start to see more in the work of evidence-based outcome coming to market. We're investing in the infrastructure, we're investing in people, and we're building a solid pipeline of potential customers uh, globally that are now starting to see the value in developing research around their products because not only does it help them in the education and post-commercialization, but data becomes a moat for their product to be able to differentiate themselves from other uh, cannabis products that are in the market. And so we'll really start to see CB2 Insights taking a leading position in helping these drugs come to market, but also develop data around how to build new product formulations as well.